Yep. <laughs> Sitting here with the uh, black brick I won. Um, my name is Joe. I'm the third YouTube winner from Subs and Paws. Thank you so much. Huge shout out, Subs and Paws, man. Thank you so much, brother. I, I cannot wait to hear this thing. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, the video today is not on the NVX, but on the Rockford Fosgate. Let me take off the thing here. I already got that lined up anyway, so. The Rockford Fosgate Prime R500 times 1D. Um, in the end, I'm going to have a video with uh, comparing this to... Uh, the other Rockford Fosgate uh, Power, the T500, um, um, what, what is that, 500, 500 times one I think, I think it's like the same thing, um, we already saw what the Power did, that one was incredible, um, this is 4 and 2 ohm stable, so we're going to start off with our 2 ohm, or our 4 ohm test, we're going to move on to the 2 ohm test, and we're going to see what it does. I'm not going to push this amp. I'm not trying to blow anything. I don't want to send anything to protect um, or blow anything. That's not my goal here. I just want to do a nice, clean test. Um, I would like to get the old uh, Rockford Fosgate, the old Prime. It's like two, two three times the size of this amplifier. Uh, I, I have the uh, the thousand and the thousand did incredible, so I, I just have high hopes for this. So let's get into it. Let's see what it does, and let's get some power going and see what we got here. Come on. All right, let's go. Let's see what we got. Four hundred. About four hundred there. Think we're clipping at all. Off the clip light or anything. Comment down below the highest number that you see there. God, are you serious? Dead. Yep. So I think I'm gonna try Dino Power. Oh, 433. That's crazy. So it's doing 433 at a four ohm load on a 500 watt amp. That's insane. So I'm really excited to see what a two ohm test does now. I'm curious if it's dropping below. Yeah, it is going a little bit below four ohms, but not much. All right, let's try on dyno mode and see what we get on dyno mode. Because I'm just curious. I'm going to back this up. There we go. Put it right there. What do we got? 521 at 3.5 ohms. That is insane. 521 at 3.5 ohms. 500. Power guys, is this what they sent it in? Just yes. No, no, no. All the wrapping in the bag. It was it was wrapped really nice. I took a video of it. And everything. Why is it the storage unit? I took a video of it. Well, you have to get it out. We can do it. Well, when we do that, okay. yeah. Bro, I'm not unmounting myself from my car. What? No way. How are we gonna compare it? No way. It looks exactly the same on the inside. From the old to the new. Ain't no way I'm. The old to the new. We gotta compare the old to the new. 545 at 3.6 ohms. That is insane. YouTube killers. So I, uh, we're gonna come right back because I don't think I'm gonna better that. What is this supposed to do? 
uh, 300 watts at 4 ohms, that's almost double. That's insane. That's crazy. All right. I feel like I can take more too. Uh, I probably could. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to push this a little teeny bit more. Are you already volume up on the input? Yeah. What's going on, you I didn't dealers? try it on uh, on the head unit. I just, I'm using hey, just Hey, they don't the sell these anymore. What? No? No anymore. No huh. V2s anymore. All right. Should've so got it while you lasted. Back it up. That's awesome. Yeah, I want to hear how this went. I'm going to reset. Be very cool. Reset the dyno. All right, so we reset there. You can see the four ohms. Yep, go ahead. Let's see what we get here. Just gave it a little touch there. So we're right back to, oh, 557. Okay. 591. <laughs> and we're sticking right at that 3.5 ohms. So I mean, that, that's a four ohm load for me. That is crazy. Now we just did almost 600 watts on a 500 watt amplifier and at a four ohm load. on a four ohm load wow you can pause it all right so we'll be right back i'm gonna grab the the two ohm test we're gonna get the two ohm test going and we'll be right back guys so don't go anywhere all right guys welcome back let me move this a little teeny bit we're recording. Okay, recording. Recording. I'm recording. 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 I know, but you don't have to scream. Recording. Okay, so we're back. Uh, two ohm test. Sundown uh, X10. This runs right around two ohms. It's wired to one ohm. Just so you know, it's wired to one ohm on a two ohm amp. Yes. It runs you, right around two ohms. A general sense. If you got a dual four and you wire it down, it's gonna run at four. If you got a yeah. dual two wiring down dual one ohm, it's gonna run at two. And if you got a dual one, it's gonna wire yep. it down, you're gonna it's gonna run at one. Very seldom do speakers actually run at uh what they're wired to. Mm. I just ran into that in my uh what the hell was that? The Audio Legion, the I know that was actually strange. The pair of uh, arm twelves. They were D twos wired to one ohm. No D4s. Oh, D4s wired to one ohm, Bro, what and if they, they were D2s? run. I'm wondering now. Because <laughs> there's no way that crap. Because they run right like, at one. It was like literally running at one. No 1. box 3. rise. No. No impedance rise. I honestly, you know, it's only one terminal too. Yeah. Oh wait, but the terminal should come out to 0.5. If it's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try. We'll it. try that. All right. Well, let's get on with this test. All right. So, oh yeah, hit it. All right. Let's see where we are here. Yeah, you can turn it up. How far is that? I got one more. Right, let me see what I'm here. Nothing? Got it. One more. Okay, so we got 400. Did, can you go another one? That's it. Oh, that's it? It's making it move. Pretty, pretty easy. All right. For a 1500 watt sub RMS, whatever that's doing is doing pretty good. Yeah. I think it's probably pretty consistent. So we're hitting over that 500 mark, definitely. I'm going to put it on. If you want, you can comment down below because I'm not sitting here watching the dyno. Comment down below what you see for a high number. 
If you want, you can add the ohms to it, 2.4 ohms, 546 watts, whatever you see, you know what I mean? All right, why don't you try to go back to the... Well, I'm going to put this on dyno, and let's see what we get here. I can't really go up anymore. I don't want to... He's like, I'm not trying to fry the amp. Yeah. Uh, you can go ahead. That's all the way up, you said? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We got 706. Oh my god. At 2.4 ohms. Bro, all these rocker bars can amps always do so much. <laughs> 803 <laughs> and that's on 2.2 ohms <laughs> so there's your 2 ohm test 803 watts Again, this is the Rockford Fosgate Prime R500 one or 500X1D. Great, 803 watts it is. Let me pause it. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna wrap it up. For that, I wish I I don't have anything that runs at like 1.5 ohms. If I did, I would try it out. But the 15 I have is a uh, the RI Audio. It runs it's like wired to a half ohm and it runs at like 1.1 1 .1 ohms. And I don't want to push the amp that that far. I've seen it done on other tests, and the amp went into protect at 1 ohm, and that's really, 1.1 1 .1 ohm is 1 ohm, so I don't want to, I don't want to test the waters. So guys, thanks for watching, uh, as always, take care of yourselves and each other guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and peace!